Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another review. And today it is my very own custom bloody fin rear. And first we'll start with the core of the bead bomb, which is the core. This is basically just um the Hasbro Thunder Drassian uh core repainted red. And I put some little black, like, claw marks right there. And, yeah, that's about it for the core. It's just the standard Hasbro Thunder Drassian. And then we have the Knight Calvary. Calvary. Uh, um, trigger pad with some more, like, uh, claw marks or whatever. And then we just have the lightning fin uh, grip, the one-handed grip, with some little red marks right there if you can see them, where you're supposed to stick your fingers, and you just snap that on, and here is, according to the crossfight standards, this would be uh, Thunder uh, Walg, but I call it Bloody Fin Rear, so I guess this would be considered the Bloody Core. But I'm just, I don't really name my cores that I come up with. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at the foot parts. Very simple. Just, I recolored the wall feet. So these are probably the most simple parts that I did in terms of customizing. Next up, we'll take a look at the arm parts. Uh, I just basically repainted the Walg original gray, which is still right there, um, and I repainted it to black, and I put, like, uh, some red right here, if you can see that, like, where he had been, like, clawing, and that's, like, the blood, and then we have his emblems, which I also painted red, and it's just the exact same thing over here. So yeah, um, next up we have the headpiece, um, I basically just repainted the original grey walg uh, to a black and painted these red eyes and those little red ear parts on each side. I think it turned out pretty well. Next up we have the bolts which I just repainted black and put the slightest bit of red on it. Yeah, bolts are always simple. Then we have the barrel, which is the True Aim barrel from uh, the Hasbro line that comes with uh, Strike Cobra. Um, I don't have the grip up here because I just don't really like it that much. And we have little claw marks again right there and it's just repainted black and nothing too special about it. And then up here we have the scope magazine which I repainted red. I kept this because I didn't want it to have any trouble and it doesn't look that bad. And I have the claw marks right here again uh, and it kinda looks messy and bloody which I really like and this I repainted black also I didn't repaint the inside because I didn't want them to get clogged or anything and then we have some blood dripping down right here now putting this guy together is pretty simple just like any other cross fight beat em on just put that on we gotta get our Whatever. Uh, then we get that. Put that in. And I'll just use uh, my fingers because I neglected to grab my uh, screw driver. Ah. Ah. 
I do this sometimes. I just grab this and screw it in with another screw. It works pretty effectively. So that's a nice little tip for those of you who wanted to know. Doubt anyone cared. Or just like, get on with the video already. I'm sorry. Uh, then we put these on. The foot parts, um, the foot bolts are a little loose, unfortunately, but that's okay. Sometimes they'll fall out, but it's alright. And I didn't paint this part because I didn't see a need to since this magazine will always be on it. Then we just attach the barrel. There we go. And that's it. Now we have our beast BV test. Now mind you, we do have a barrel up here. I usually fire with the one-handed grip. 1.51, but that's probably because of the one-handed grip. I'll try firing it like this. And also, uh, we also have the barrel up here. So that takes away a lot of power. 2.16, and it's a lot farther away, so it won't register as if I had the barrel off. And uh, 2.82. Yeah, uh, pretty powerful once you take the barrel off. But um, the barrel just has a lot of accuracy. Um, and once again, it's a lot farther away than normal, where it would usually be here, so that takes away quite a bit of power. Now we'll test his accuracy. <laughs> that was kind of a ricochet shot. Yeah, he's pretty accurate. But his main thing is more rapid fire. I kind of tried to make it kind of like the original Chrome, Chrome Levon. Not Chrome Levon Cyclone where it has that extended grip. As you know, these are already elongated. But then we add this and the one-handed grip. And it's kind of like the Chrome Levon Cyclone original. So, let's load them up. And I just want to know if any of you noticed that uh, there's the claw marks right there and right there, which align, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm using the one-handed grip. Yeah, he's pretty great at rapid fire. So overall, uh, I really love Bloody Fenrir. I think it turned out as great custom. And by the way, thanks to Lewis Builder 16 for giving me that challenge. Because uh, if he hadn't, I probably would have never made this awesome custom. And you'll probably see future videos and battles involving Bloody Fenrir. So look forward to that. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And go to my friend uh, Lewis Builder 16's channel and. Be sure to subscribe, I'll uh, put a link in the description to his awesome channel.